there has been few instances where uh, some of the members have come to me and say that uh, they have accidentally changed the URLs in general and uh, need to reset them back how would they do it and I'm going to deliberately do that the same thing they did into this my test account test site and normally you want to change that if you want to move your site onto your root uh, normally it's on a WordPress uh, folder but if you want to move it then you have to move the folders as well but I'll make another video for that but to reset them back I'm going to save this And now you see it's going to my root and I have my PHP nuke on the root. Uh, if I go into, try to go into the old URL that we had, HTTP column. I would get an error. As you can see, it redirects back to my home page because it couldn't find the page so it redirected to my home page uh, to reset them back we have to there's few ways you can do it there's one of them the way it can be done is through database if you are familiar with database I'll show you on how to do it in database so we go into my PHP admin and then the database that you are using and these are the tables and we're looking for options no that's the wrong one it's this one we're looking for options WP options and click on browse and this is the URL that we changed so all you need to do is click on edit and put the folder back and press go We changed it back on here, now we've got to change the other one, and that's on the second page, I think. Uh, 37. Site URL, site URL. There it is. That's the site URL, 37. That's normally 37, so you know date is down here. We do the same thing on that one and put WordPress back. And go. Once we have done the reset and we try to go on our site now again, we should be okay.
Yeah, we got a site back and then we can test the WP admin. And you should hit that back as well. Yeah. I hope this video has helped you on how to set it up through database. On the next video, I'm going to show you how to do it through uh, functions PHP. Thank you.